welcome ladies and gentlemen to fellow total strews back to the channel thank you for checking it out if this is your first time go ahead and give you a quick disclaimer first of all please make sure you stay hydrated all right second thing i'm gonna give is usually i try to go ahead and knock out the majority of my thought processes and when particularly what i want to discuss in the first five minutes if i possibly can if i can't then at that point you can check out if you want to it is what it is. But this real quickly, I just want to kind of get off from the top of my head. Because I just came back from walking my neighborhood. And today was a very eye-opening day for me. Because for those who might have came from my previous videos, you might have heard of me speak of my father several times. And the reason why I'm going to bring him up again at this point is because he reminded me of something that I think too many times, regardless of wherever you are in the world, we don't often speak about these things or we don't really take the time to really acknowledge these things is that. And just so you guys know, for anyone out there who's a parent, right? For anyone who has children, for anyone who has, who's, you know, has close ties with your family or not, or even people who are not, you know, blood, do blood related to you. I just essentially what this message is, the video really is going to be is just kind of like just want me just give y'all a quick PSA real quick and just know that it's okay. It's okay. Don't be afraid to admit the truth. When you are in a position that is not in your favor. But you have to make an uncomfortable decision. And the reason why I just want to correct, just give that to y'all real quick is because today I almost struck my father. And just for context, y'all, not my biological father, my stepfather. And, and you know what? For the rest of this video, I'm not going to refer to him as my father. I'm going to take that back. For the rest of this video, I'm just I'm going to say my stepfather. And the reason why I'm gonna do that, y'all, is because you know, is and uh, from young men out there, any for anyone, period. But this more so to my young men out here. I understand. I truly mean this when I say this. I truly I do understand that if you are in a position right now where you're taking care of family members or you're doing, you're upholding some responsibilities that necessarily in your heart of hearts feels as if this shouldn't be your responsibilities at this point in time for you, right? Especially if you're in your 20s or what have you. And of course, and especially if you have siblings that let's say don't have to harbor the kind of stress you have to be under. And that's not to say they don't have their own stresses in life or what have you, but it's like at this point, it feels as if you're fighting a battle by yourself, but then everyone who suggests their allies to you are just want to go about their business and act like you don't need help. And granted, when you bring it up, even when you bring it up, they still, not all of them, but some of them still want to just pretend as if you're not on the battlefield losing your life they really don't want to acknowledge the fact that every single day there's a piece of you being chipped off and the amount of sacrifice you give every single day try to sustain yourself while a bit of you is being chipped away as time progresses and the thing is this y'all with my stepfather I've been trying to be as patient. I have been trying my hardest. And I mean that to the bottom of my heart. Not to go down that road. Because at the end of the day, all the thing is this. It's not going to benefit me any kind of way to put my hands on him. It's not. Because let's say if I put my hands on him, and just so you guys know, like I've said before, he's not in the best, his best health. So think about it like this on top of what we as a family, right? Not just me, of course, my family as a whole have to do for him. If let's say I put my hands on him 
And I'm going to spare you guys the details. But let's say if I put my hands on him, he goes to the hospital. Now we have additional medical bills we have to pay, right? On top of that, especially if he is still conscious, let's say that. And it could be a worse scenario if he's unconscious, because now that has a whole completely different set of, you know, issues that can rise from that. Right. And I've tried to explain to him that several times over for the past six years, gone seven years, that if you're not helping me, essentially, y'all, if you're going to continue to be a blight or a plight, if you want to use that word in my life then at some point in time, I have to question my sanity to still tolerate your existence in my presence. I mean, that I really have to. Because am I crazy for still trying to discuss with you, try to reason with you, try to have an understanding with you, but time and time again, you just are so, so pig-headed. You're so stubborn. And you know what? To be honest with y'all, those words are not strong enough to what I really want to convey to y'all. And if there's any particular words you might know to what I'm trying to get at, please share in the comment section. And I'm not going to be on here for too long. I just want to say this, though, overall, is that what I had, what I was reminded today, y'all, is this. It's not, don't be afraid. Don't be scared to admit to yourself. Tell yourself the truth. That is okay to admit you've done all you can. You've given more than most people would be able to give because I've told them this too. And let's all be honest. Let's all be honest. When it comes to the care of family, especially in their health. And when I speak of their health, y'all, I'm just, just talking about the physical. I'm talking about the mental. I'm talking about the emotional. I'm talking about the spiritual health of that individual, how draining it is for you to give your inner resources, right? Because my patience, your patience, everyone's patience, patient in itself is a resource. Love in its own right can be a resource. Understanding, empathy. <sighs> Pardon me, y'all. Respect, diligence. All of that, anything you can think of is a resource that every day is so harder. It gets harder and it gets harder. The, uh, the uh, excuse me, y'all. And it can get harder given the circumstances someone of us might be in. And that stuff can, you know, just flip on its head. And so what I just want to go ahead and let you guys know is that don't be afraid to just, I'm, and I'm being serious here, y'all. Don't not be afraid to just take five minutes. Now, nah, fuck that. Take a whole, take as much time as you need to just say, okay, I'm at a point in my life right now that I want to scream the top of my lungs out, but then there's that part of you that says, what's really, what's any good of that? That's not going to change your situation. That's not going to improve your situation. So it's like, what's, what's the purpose? What's the reason? There ain't no really reason. If you come to that point, sit back, just really work it out in your mind and then apply. Now, don't get it twisted, y'all. I would never want to encourage y'all to, by all means, put your hands on somebody. Because at the end of the day, y'all, I don't want no one getting into any issues with the law. I don't want y'all getting into no issues with your family like that. But I'm going to say this, though. If it comes to that point where you can, the God's truth, y'all, if it has gone to a point where you feel as if, you're about this much, right? Like this much of losing your shit. If I may entice y'all to do this, because this might help you out like it helps me out. It's just understand that in the grand scheme of things, this moment will pass, but that's not to tolerate it to continue. It's about have that honesty to say enough is enough. Stand by your own two feet and say what you have to say. Get off of what's ever in your chest in the best way you feel like you have to get off your chest. Because at the end of the day, y'all, this is your fucking life. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. This is your life. You have to decide how you feel. You have to decide how you put yourself out in the world. 
you have to decide how much of someone's presence you can tolerate. Because at the end of the day, y'all, it's nothing wrong to admit that, you know what? Okay, you're going to continue to be on your horse shit. Okay, fine. Be on your horse shit. You can stay. You can keep that over there. I'm going to stay over here. Or better yet, you can stay right here. I'm out. Don't be afraid to admit that. Now, don't get twisted, y'all. Don't wish no... Don't wish no dismay. Don't wish no harm upon that person. At the end of the day, y'all, have love within your heart for yourself, first and foremost, and have grace for yourself, secondly, after that. Because at the end of the day, y'all, at the end of the day, You always have to take this. And I get it. I'm just saying this to y'all. And again, if you want to disagree with me, get me in the comment section if you want to. But at the end of the day, y'all, at the end of the day, you got to check yourself first and foremost before you can check anybody else. Check yourself. Or if you know the saying I'm about to say, and I'll close it on this. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. I'm going to say it one more time. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Eight words. I implore y'all, take the time to analyze those eight words. Let it ring in your head as many times as you need to. Because too many times there are folks out in this world, y'all, who don't check themselves before they wreck themselves. Because here's the thing. You could be the catalyst to someone's destruction. You could be the catalyst to someone who has been a blessing on earth and become a curse onto others. You could become that catalyst of transactions that can be taken back. And that's why I learned today or I was reminded of today. And if this helps somebody out there who's going through this and in fact, if you need this in your life right now, I'm grateful that I was able to put this out into the universe for y'all to see for yourself. If it didn't, well, it is what it is. But I'll catch y'all later. Again, if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike it, dislike it. Comment, don't comment. Subscribe, subscribe, don't. It's all good. I'll catch y'all later. Peace. Oh, and real quick, before I, uh, before, before I cut this off real quick. Um, just make sure y'all, please, please, I mean this to the bottom of my heart, please take care of yourself, take care of yourself physically, take care of yourself mentally, take care of yourself emotionally, take care of yourself spiritually in the best way you possibly can. Have patience for yourself, have grace for yourself that if you falter y'all, you can get right back up. With all that being said, I love y'all. Peace out.